wanted to write this book, you know, our book, Cutting the Wire, mm. about the MST, uh, very much because I felt there was a fantastic story there, which just wasn't being told. The story of all these thousands of men and women who were fighting for land, who saw in the movement the sort of promised land, if you like, and who, who came from, you know, situations of huge poverty and so on, but who were, who were fighting and organising to get a get out of it and I just felt it was such a sort of heroic you know there was something um, of an epopeia about mm -hmm. it something fantastic about it and that's a story that I wanted to tell. Yes too. I think so too because very little was being published and there was no effort I think ours was the first book to try and bring all the parts of the MST together and tell it as a single story and just the life stories. I think one of the best parts of the mm. book is just those we've got boxes throughout just with people telling us their life stories. And they are just so fantastic. The huge migrations all over Brazil, confrontations, bringing up children in extremely difficult conditions and this whole struggle for land. And so it's, 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 it's a wealth of experiences and politically important. I mean, the MST is having repercussions around the world that go far beyond Latin America, just how you do organise. And then in the end, they have organised one way or another something like a million people when you, when you mm. include the support people in the cities and people in the land. It's one of the largest popular movements in the world. And how did they do it? Brazil, we know, is a very diverse country, different racially, different climates. And how did they manage to build this movement, which is still quite coherent? And um, you, you, you go to a, a, a settlement in the north of the country in the south, they may be practicing different kinds of farming, but there'll be a, a coherence in the internal organization. Well, Cutting the Wire was published here, first of all, 2002, and then it was translated and published in Brazil, 2004. Um, it got, the trouble is that any book about the MST also falls into the same problem as coverage of the MSC, so it didn't get many reviews. It's sold, but it, it hasn't been it hasn't been a bestseller. You don't find it at airports and things like that. The people who've read it and know about the movement and about the land question have, you know, have liked it and found it. Very it's actually book. sold better abroad, the English mm. edition, than the Portuguese edition in Brazil, and I think that's because people. The book hasn't faced the same prejudice here that people are interested in in the MST. And so it's it's sold pretty well here, but in 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 Brazil, I mean, we got an award for it, didn't we? We, well, we got, did. We won a prize for it. Um, but it hasn't. It didn't get reviewed widely, and it has sold. But it's sold rather despite a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's sold been... to people who are sympathetic anywhere. Mm. I don't think it's mm. probably hasn't changed any landowners' mm. minds about the MST.